Dealing with square roots can sometimes be tricky, but let's make it a little easier for all of you. Suppose you have a big square root problem where we have some numbers in the numerator in decimals like 1.44 times 0.81 and in the denominator you have 0.9 and 3.6. Now how do you tackle this problem? The easier thing which should be done here is to remove all these decimals and convert it into a more easier looking form. So what are we going to do now? Remove this decimal, it becomes 144. Remove this decimal, it becomes 81. Remove this decimal, it becomes 9. And remove this decimal, it becomes 36. But when you remove the decimals, you need to have tens, hundreds and thousands in the numerators and denominators. How? Here you have two decimal places, so we will have a hundred in the denominator. Here you have two decimal places, so another hundred in the denominator. Likewise, single decimal place here, so 10 in the numerator and single decimal place here, so 10 in the numerator. And now things are going to get easier. 10 times 10 is 100, so I can cancel 100 and all the remaining numbers are perfect squares. 144 is 12, 81 is 9, 9 is 3. 36 is 6 and 100 is 10. Now can you cancel some more common factors here? Obviously yes. 3 cancels 9 3 times. 3 cancels 6 2 times. And 2 cancels 12 6 times. Still 6 upon 10 is remaining and that is so simple. 0 0.6 happens to be your final answer. Most of the students can do this orally and if you want to watch complete video of how to handle square roots in such problems, watch this related video here for complete knowledge.